Welcome to this session on setting project and site properties in the project tree. So before we start modeling, a certain building data needs to be defined for the project. This might include information such as the energy standard that is to be used, the building type, the project location, the climate zone, and terrain. And much of this information can be set in the project tree. So we're going to start by setting up some basic project properties. So I'm just going over to the project tree and right click on the project ES office building and select properties. We just want to make sure you can see our project name there. We could edit that here if, if needed. We want to make sure we're working in the correct units, metric or imperial. We're going to select metric. And then we want to select the energy standard that we plan to use. In this case, we're going to use the SIBSI standard. And then there are a number of other settings we could adjust here. We're going to just leave the defaults, but we have different calculation settings and simulation settings. I'm going to select apply and then OK. And now we'll take a look at some site properties. First thing I'm going to do is right click on the site in the project tree and select rename. So we may want to give a more descriptive name to our actual site, and I'm going to rename it as Office Park. I'm going to right click again and this time select properties. So you'll notice there is the site name, Office Park park that we just renamed. And then the next step is to actually define the location of, of the project. And so in this case, our continent will be Europe. We're going to, to use the country of United Kingdom. And rather than London, we're actually going to select Birmingham. And that sets as well our weather profile, the appropriate weather profile. You can see there's a large library of weather profiles available. But we want to make sure that's set to Birmingham. That will set up a number of the other settings as defaults based on the weather profile. We're also going to need to set the mains water temp. And for this particular project, we're going to use the HW loop temp schedule. Now you'll see there's there's other settings here as well, this atmospheric climate. Now these, again, were, were adjusted based on the weather profile. And these could be overwritten and adjusted at this point, but we'll, we'll just use the defaults here. I'm going to scroll down here and note that there are also terrain settings. And so the terrain will make adjustments for the weather based on the actual location of your site. Uh, for instance, if the building were on a hill, that would affect the wind conditions, and you might need to use a special topography coefficient to account for that. In addition, ground floors are assumed to be in contact with the earth, for which the temperature can be specified. So you should ensure that the constructional layers that you set up for your ground floors, including the earth, accurately reflect those that are required. So the, the, the actual soil type that we select here is used to calculate the ground floor U values for the building. So given that this, so given that our exercise here is assumed to be an office building in the city of Birmingham, we can assume that that's an urban condition. We're going to select the soil type of clay. We'll use as our windshield being rather than countryside, I'm going to select urban. Our usage category, I'm going to select urban and light industrial, and then we'll, we'll leave the defaults for the remainder of the settings. We will check on here that we'll use daylight savings time, and that should be set to the 29th of March as the start date and 25 October as the end date. 
And that just means that if during those dates, it'll use daylight savings time for any daylighting or solar type calculations. So once I've made those adjustments, I'm simply going to apply and select OK. So that takes care of our project and site properties. In the next video, we'll look at the building properties. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.